we have the basic setup of the angular application ready now we have to consume the get all book api in this angular application for that let's add a new component in this angular application hit the enter button we have a new component at this place all books before making any further change in this application let's open the web api application here we have the web api application that we have created throughout this tutorial now let's run this application by pressing ctrl f5 this application is running at this path let's copy this path over here we have to enter this base path the url for the api is api and then books this is the base path for all the apis of the books let's create a new method over here to get the books and now because we are dealing with the http so we will be using observable and over here we are passing any now the url to get all the books is this exact path so over here i will be using this base path that's it now only by using this method we can get all the books from our database now let's focus on the component so let's expand this old books and over here inside this component let's use this service the name of the service is book service here we have to use it in this component let's write the code resolve the import now at this place let's create a new method by using the instance of the service we can get all the values this dot service dot get books because we are using the observable so we have to subscribe this method over here like this and here let's use the result variable also now we will get all the values of the books inside this result variable let's get one public property over here so here i'm writing books let's give it a type any and inside this books property i can assign the result i can call this method from this ng on init method for that i can write this dot the method name that's it to display the result on the ui we have to make some changes in the html file also so here we are on the html file and here we can display all the values in form of table so let's open the bootstrap official website and let's copy some code from there here i can search for get bootstrap this is the official website of the bootstrap and over here let's hit on the docs search for the table and here we have the code for the table let's copy this one go back to our application and over here let's paste this entire code now to view the code of the space we have to add some route in this application so for that let's open this app routing dot module dot ts and over here inside this routes variable we have to define our path the path will be books and let's add the associated component this one let's make some changes in this app.component.html at the bottom side of this file you will see that we have this router outlet we can remove the entire code of this file except this code so let's copy this one remove the entire code and paste only this one let's run this application by using the same command let's navigate to our url and the url is books hit the enter button here you can see that we have everything as an hard coded if i open the developer tool over here let's navigate to the network tab refresh the page again In the network tab you can see we are getting an error and the detail is course error let's hit on this one and you can see that we do not have any response for this application because we are getting the course error if you will open the console window also then you can see that we are getting a course error let's read what is this error 
access to this API from this origin has been blocked by the course policy. It means we are trying to access this URL from this URL. The current URL of our application is port 4200, but our APIs are running on this 44341. This means we are trying to access a resource from some other domain. And by default, if you are doing that, then you will get an error. Now it is time to resolve this course error.